Yo, what's going on, sexy cent one squad? We're doing a ranked one v one, and I'm playing the Morgan. We're gonna be using the spectral shifter skin. I don't know why. I don't know why, but my brain really wanted to say spectral sphincter. I I don't know why my brain was thinking of sphincters, but uh. <laughs> Oh, well, so I'm going to do something that I haven't done before on the Morgan. You know, I've played her. So, I am awakened from my I played her quite a bit. Let's just be honest, right? Like I've, I've played this God often in, in videos, at least. And I've done everything there is to do when it comes to only getting kills when you're the enemy. Only getting kills when you aren't the enemy. 50% uh, cooldown. PVE, you know, like I've tried a lot of stuff, but what I realized that I haven't tried is a one-shot build. And I'm like, I'm like the goat of one-shot dual build, you know? Like if, if you, if you, okay, well, uh, there's like three things people think about me. You think of Sam the Dude, you think of one, either an asshole or wholesome, one of the two. Two, Sam's Corner, obviously. And three power builds. That's like the three things you think of. Minions have spawned. And um, I want to explode people while stealth. Hello, that scared the but Jesus out of me, my friend. Well, that did not go well for him. He is still going to invade. I missed. I think, like, I still see him there. So I don't really care that much. Nice. Nice. And I got my mana pot ticking. Oh, and I got the mana pot ticking. What are you going to do, my friend? What are you going to do? Your invade didn't work out. You tried so hard and didn't get far. And in the end, it actually didn't matter. Like, actually this time. I think the great news about this matchup is that... I don't really care about my ult. Is that uh, he has no stealth. So when I'm, like, fully built, when I'm, like, ready to one-shot, it's going down. He can't stop it. I mean, he can stun me. He can delay it. But he can't stop it. Alright. I got my Bancrofts online. This, is the strength I need to protect us all. this skin, by the way, is kind of like if you die in the Victorian era <laughs> and... You came back as like a banshee with your old clothes on. <laughs> that's what this that's what this strikes me as. I will alt you. All right. He's so scared of me. He's so scared of me, and he should be. He died to an archer! <laughs> Yo, that is not fun. That is not fun at all. I hate that for you, man. I love it for me, though. I'll be honest with you. A blammo. Oh, I missed. Whoa, chill. Oh my god, I'm doing so much damage. I'm damaging. How? I don't think you can kill me. Actually.
Uh, your blue buff isn't quite up yet. Uh, I mean, there's not really a reason to delay you. If I'm honest, me delaying him is probably better for him. That's just, just calls it how I sees it, you know? It's better for him because my blue buff isn't getting killed off cooldown, which means I'm losing XP overall in, during the game. His blue buff hasn't even spawned. So he's not losing anything, which means the only negative is me going down in XP because Bozo. I would prefer if you didn't get red buff. You're you're doing it. Oh, I stole it with an auto attack. <laughs> Hello, my dear friend. Pop. Oh my good golly goodness. Oh my good golly goodness. I'm not getting a lot of kills. Like that was the first kill I've had. But I feel like I have an extremely dominating performance. Like he died to an archer. So <laughs> I, I don't know what I can really say about his performance. But I have missed very little abilities. And have kept pressure up everywhere I needed to keep pressure up. I'm lucky that didn't hit me. That was a uh, that was an absolute high res moment because that should have hit me. Alright, I back here. I back here. I grab this. Uh, I'll upgrade my beads because. I don't know. I don't like being stunned slash knocked up. Knock up. Knocked up. It's knocked up, not knock up. Pro I mean, probably. It sounds like it makes more sense. Your tower is so close to being gone. Uh, he's in me. He's in me. I'm getting ulted. He has beads. Oh. Holy crap. He surrendered? He surrendered? Alright, whatever. Let's blow someone up next game. See you there. What's up, boys? Welcome back to game number two. I'm going to tab out real quick and see what the MMR of this fellow player is. Because I, I feel like... The name Sloth is uh, it's kind of like an OG name. Like, I feel like I remember that name from my past. Like, <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. He's 1900 MMR, by the way. He's hiding his account, though. So, I'm not supposed to know that. Uh, I changed it to the... Uh, what is it called? The beach skin? Because, you know. You can't have the same view multiple... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Jesus Christ. She looked at me like she was pissed. I just got virtually slapped. Have I do want this blue buff, though. I could steal his, actually. What if he just goes for red, though? And then I'm over there for no reason. What if he invades? No, you don't invade his Cupid. That's... He's invading! Damage. Take it. Ow. Okay. I mean... I feel I don't really care about that, right? Because he did nothing. He made me back, but he didn't get anything off of it. And I clear wave like pretty good. Do -do -do. 
laughing at. He's a he's a ballsy guy, dude. You gotta admit, he's a ballsy guy. Picking Cupid, invading, and then laughing. Oh, I am actually obliterating him though. All right. Let's do red. I'm pretty sure he cannot steal this even if he wanted to. Unless he ults it, maybe. And even then he can't steal it. Nice. Big Cupid first blood. I got the red buff and I got the kill, but to be honest, the only thing I want is the blue buff, but it's like, he's not even going for it. Oh, there he is. Okay. I steal this and run. Nice. Nice. Blink is down. The blink is down. I probably didn't need to blink that, but I figure better safe than sorry, right? Oh my damage, Batman. Wow. Wow. That damage is crazy. I don't even have an item yet, by the way. <laughs> what the hell? If you're wondering why I'm starting Bancroft's Typhons, by the way, when I'm trying uh, to go full power, it's because Bancroft's plus Typhons, because Typhons increases the power of your magical... It increases... Oh, okay. How do I say this? It increases the power of the percentage of magical lifesteal you have times two. Does that make sense? So if I have 40% lifesteal and then I buy Typhons, I get 80 power off of it. That makes sense, right? So it increases your percentage lifesteal and then gives you power based off of your percentage lifesteal. That makes sense. You, you do literally nothing. You hit me for 50. Does it say it on here? Can I just read it and make it sound simpler? Your magical power is increased by twice the amount of magical life steal you have. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you talk words. Funk. Uh. Can I just kill you though? I missed. Funk. Funk. My revenge. <laughs> oh, I walked into it. I'm such an idiot. I could have killed him. I could have killed him. I'm actually such a bozo. All right, let's go get Typhons. So Typhons is going to increase my power from 25 to 65. So theoretically, my power should go up from 145 to 185. But it goes up to 225 because it adds an additional 40 power. Because of my lifesteal percentages. And then uh, Bancroft's. Also, you know how like Bancroft's makes you gain more lifesteal? the lower you are, plus gain more uh, power the lower you are. Typhons just makes that effect even better. So the lower you get, even like the stronger you get by far. So those two items combined just... They're kind of mandatory in like a full power build as a mage. Don't really think I can kill you, but I'm going to... 
for to see what my damage looks like. I mean, honestly, that damage do not look bad, bro. Damage do not look bad. I uh, okay. Well, I missed. Why did he go oboe? Yeah, you stealth and one, and all of a sudden everyone runs. I know, I know. That's how it goes. I don't think I'm going to put any points in my ult. I don't think I need to at all this game. I just straight up max my other three abilities. Jesus, that did a lot. Oh, I'm deceased. Did he just... Was he just taunting on my body? Because he did the little the little body wiggle. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right. That's funny. Good on you, man. Have some confidence. No one ever said under 2k MMR was bad, you know? All right. Clear, grab red buff. I mean, is your blue up, though? Not yet, but it will be. What is this? Oh. Holy crap. It actually healed me so much. My two just now. A red buff acquired. Let's stealth over to his blue. Oh, I leveled my ult. I didn't mean to. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I mean, I can't really do anything to Phoenix because I'm a mage and my thing of a Bob ran out. What is that thing called? What is that thing called? The uh, da, 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 da. man, what is it called? Dual orb, that's what it's called. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Okay. Why not? Uh let's just go rod. <clears throat> so Polly, by the way, is also gonna give us extra power because of Typhons. Another reason why you grab it on this character. And then and then I go rod and then I go. I don't know, honestly. By the way, the re the reason you level your three is because your sl your invis duration is like a lot faster or a lot longer duration. I mean, all right. I could kill him here if he was like not passive. Oh god, he's he's mowing my lawn. I have someone mowing my lawn right now, and I hope he doesn't run over my fiber cable. <laughs> that would suck. No, nah, I'm sure he knows. He's a professional, right? He is a professional. I like uh, I like my landscaper a lot. Actually, he's very nice. Not bad. 
<laughs> Yo, I just exploded him and he insta surrendered. <laughs> oh my god. My 2 1 combo plus Polynomicon plus my rod. So just two abilities plus my auto attack did like 1200 damage. I want to see if he says anything or if he just leaves. GG. He left the lobby already, I think. Because it only says that one player's in. Oh, well. I enjoyed recording this, actually. I hope you guys did, too. You guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to make this video extra special. My Twitter handle is down there, as you see, the Sam the Dude. I want you guys to queue up, play Morgan Le Fay. What the build is going to be is going to be Bancroft's, Typhons, Polynomicon, Rod, the Calamitous Rod of Tahuti. And then the last two items are either... There, you have two options here. You can either go um, Soul Reaver and Ethereal Staff, like the combination of the two, but you're not going to have any, like, uh, cooldown. Or you can go Chronos Pendant and then probably, like, a Spear of the Magus because the extra percentage of damage that your 2-1 combo is going to do. Do either of those builds. Go over to Twitter down here. Again, it's the Sam the Dude, as you can see in the bottom right. Let me move screens. Maybe make it easier. I don't know. Whatever. Um, do that. Send it to me, your clips of you just one-shotting people on Twitter. The best clip I see, the one that makes me laugh the hardest, I will send $10 to on either Cash App or like I'll send you gems or whatever you want. But I'll hit you up, all right? So hit me with those things on Twitter. And uh, let's see what happens. Peace.